All right, guys. Uh, got a few uh, views on my other video about the uh, Phil Heath, Kevin Lavroni arm comparison. Uh, thought I'd do another one, kind of on uh, some other uh, features, say back uh, overall physique. Um, just uh, uh, starting off with uh, a couple images here. I've got. Uh, Got Kevin Lavroni. Now this is uh, a 2002 Olympia. I don't obviously I don't think he was at his prime uh, in that time. So uh, it's not really necessarily fair. It's Kai Green, of course, in the middle. Phil Heath on the right, I believe. Uh, kind of see you now. Now back in the day, uh, Kevin was you know from the front. The guy was a was a monster. Uh, obviously had a great most muscular that kind of thing, but kind of one of the digs against him was his back you know it wasn't quite up to par with the rest of his body that wasn't uncommon and that's still not uncommon but um you know back in the day you got doreen yates one of the greatest backs in history uh uh later on in kev's career you know ronnie coleman was starting to come on uh, great back as well so you know he competed it with some guys with some historic backs so you know that might have been a little bit of it but you can see in this picture uh, now, this is probably not Kevin's greatest shape, like I said, but Kevin's back uh, kind of lacks the, the bottom part of the lap, the fullness on the bottom, uh, when compared to like Kai Green and Phil Heath. I mean, granted, uh, different eras, uh, different uh, parts and points in their careers, that kind of thing, but uh, you can kind of see you know Kev's back is not quite on par with these guys, uh, so that's going to be an issue. Hopefully he brings that up uh we'll see uh legs not looking too great in this picture either uh so who knows but um uh in the middle back uh trap traps start to come in uh, not as full either so that'll be uh something to see there if, if kev could bring those up now um a lot of uh, uh people seem to think kev I mean, I've saw, I've seen a few videos where where they're saying he can win the Olympia, and all, and I think that's crazy. Unfortunately, I, I think Phil's obviously the favorite again. I think I don't think Kevin can win the Olympia, but does it really matter? I mean, if he comes in great shape, proves what he can do, you know how good he can look for his age. I don't I don't think it really matters at this point. Uh, you know, build some interest in the sport, uh, make a little money, hopefully for himself and. You know build his career a little bit at this point in his life so uh, one of the things you know back in the 90s uh, a lot of a lot of the rumors uh, about Kevin and some other guys Flex Wheeler uh, those kinds of guys uh, in the 90s one of, one of the big things here you got Flex on the right here Sean Ray in the middle obviously uh, there's a pretty grain, grainy pick of Kev right there that's pretty awesome. Uh, one of the one of the things about Kevin was uh, one of the rumors uh, was uh, he used the drug acycline or esaline or esalenine or I don't even know how you pronounce the damn drug, but not a, not a common drug that's around just on the streets or in any underground labs that I'm aware of. I mean, I've uh, you know come contact with some of these these drugs i mean i know what's out there for the normal guy to, to obtain but uh you know one of the digs here's a great pick right here most muscular kevin was legendary in that pick before that pose i should say uh i'd i'd give that pose to kev actually in his prime i mean look at look at the shoulder region and then the trap the tries the outer head of his tries but back to a cycling or esaline or however you pronounce it uh the drug, you know, some of you are probably familiar with it, but it temporarily inflames the muscle. So you inject it, uh, I don't know how many hours, whatever, pre-contest, whatever, and it temporarily inflames the, the muscle so it looks larger. I don't know what it does for definition, probably cuts down on definition a little bit, but uh, Kevin, uh, Flex Wheeler, rumor on that. Uh, you know that was suspect back in the day these guys were doing that drug and they probably still do it i don't know if it's around uh rumor is i saw boston lloyd talking to, to uh, dave palumbo on his show there uh about uh 
he had heard Kevin uh, was over in Iraq uh, at this time. Uh, you know, some of them uh, guys from that area, that part of the world, are some pretty big, big boys, big monsters, man. They were talking about the quality of the drugs might be, you know, might be one of the reasons that these guys are monsters. Maybe it's uh, the quality of the drugs are better. I don't know. I can't imagine today's pros will get their hands on some great drugs, but who knows. Uh, they were wondering why Kevin would go over there. Hopefully it's just for an appearance, but hopefully it is to improve his physique as well. I mean, I don't care what he does. I just want him to look the best that he can look. So, uh, You know, and also Lloyd, Boston Lloyd was talking, I know, bringing up Boston Lloyd. A lot, a lot of you guys don't like him. But he does have some interesting things to say. So, And uh, he said that uh, one of his friends ran into Kevin a few weeks ago, and Kevin's legs uh, were not looking so great. So... That's going to be an issue when you get up there in age uh, and those legs go, that waist thickens, it's just part of aging, arms shrink. So we'll, we'll see what happens, I mean I've seen some pics of Kevin, he looks great for his age, there's no doubt about it, the guy's a genetic freak. So, um, you know, here's Phil in the middle, uh, this is Flex Wheeler, obviously Kevin on the left. Uh, and both, you know, Flex and, or excuse me, uh, Kevin and Phil are in the 240-250 range, uh, mid-250s or whatever. So similar body weight, similar structure from the front. Uh, it, it'll be interesting uh, comparing these two guys. Uh, here's another one. If I showed that one. I mean, look at this. This is like a mirror image uh, almost. You got a uh, slight difference in the sweep on the legs. Uh, Phil's... Uh, Hips are a little narrower, maybe. It's kind of right in this area. There's more of a dip. There's a little more uh, on Phil. Kev's more just kind of rounded. I think that's from squatting, to be honest with you. Kevin did a lot of squatting, uh, is my understanding. So squatting kind of gives you that look right in here. Uh, most of today's pro bodybuilders don't squat, uh, to my understanding. But I mean, I don't hang with them, but uh, that's the... Don't do a lot of the compound movements anymore to prevent injuries, and, and you know they don't train that hard. So uh, well, there's Ronnie Coleman, greatest bodybuilder in history, in my opinion. Ronnie Coleman, uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, here we go. Uh, front lat spread. Wow. Got Kai in the middle there. Kev on the left. I think that might be. That's 2002. So. Yeah, later in, in Kev's career, but um, yeah, looking looking pretty good. Uh, Phil, I think, is going to win the Olympia. Um, I don't. I think he's definitely the favorite. It's his to lose. I mean, it usually is for the champion. So, Kai, I don't know if he's what he, what the plan is with him, but uh, looks a little depleted in this pick. I don't know. Has a strange structure. I've always thought Kai Green kind of looked. Guy's a beast, uh, but different structure. I think that doesn't really lend to uh, a pleasing physique. Um, I'm not gonna hammer on the guy though, because obviously he's one of the top body bodybuilders in the world. So here's a great pick, a grainy pick, um, black and white. Man, these guys look a lot alike in that pick. That's pretty crazy. Uh, as far as from the neck down. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, that's Schwarzenegger. Phil Heath. Uh, here we got Kev. I showed this picture in my last video. He's got to come in better than that. I don't know. But, you know, he, he's not going to be able to compete looking like that uh, at this Olympia. So hopefully he adds some size. Here's another one. Great pick there. Yeah, these guys are Kev's delts. Right up there with the best in history. This guy's a legend uh, for his delts. Strong, strong guy. Uh, real strong guy. Here's a great pick. Kev looks blown up in that one. Uh, he's, uh, to say the least. Um, hopefully he brings those legs up uh, in that back. You know, it's going to be difficult, though. Like I said before, uh, we all know that, so... Should be, uh, be pretty interesting.